A really good way to develop a lot more strength and flexibility is the second section in Wing Chun. So as you can see, we have the Dan Sao. Now, what we're going to do is instead of just doing the movement, we're going to try to stretch as far as we can with the position. So with our hands down like this, we want to lock in our shoulders as low as we can get and press down as far as possible. At the same time, you want to lift up your fingers and try to touch your uh, shoulders with your fingers. So your fingers are coming up, but at the same time, your palm, the bottom of your palm is coming going this way. So you want to create this action with your palms while pressing down. So lock them down as far as you can, extend your neck up so you get a nice stretch here on your shoulders and on your neck. Okay, so extend your head up as high as possible and push down your hands as far as possible and lock your shoulders as low as possible. So hold that for about a minute and you'll see what I mean by getting a good stretch and developing flexibility. The next position is the backwards press. So bring it to the lumbar area and then press it out diagonally like this. So as you can see, my fingers are pointing downwards and a little bit towards the middle here. So you get the maximum stretch. You can do this too, but I feel that you get more stretch in your tendons if you turn in your fingers a little bit like this. So from the side, you can see you want to do this. So what you want to do is you want to push far back as possible, try to get this as high as possible, and then push back as far as you can. You want your shoulders to go backwards as far as you can. Squeeze the muscles uh, on your back, squeeze it towards your spine. So you want to get the maximum stretch and maximum, uh, um, maximum movement backwards as you can do. At the same time, you're lifting your fingers the opposite direction while pressing down with the base of your palm. Okay? So, and then extend your neck up so you feel a nice stretch on your on the front and your clavicles. Hold that for a minute and then we're going to the next position. The next position is coming back to the front and pressing down. So same thing, we're going to press down as far as we can, lift our fingers up while pressing the base of our palm down, try to lock our shoulders as low as possible and extend our neck and pull our, uh, pull our head backwards. So it creates a nice, nice stretch. You should be feeling a lot of tension on the forearms here, and even your fingers, and your front, front of your forearms. You should be feeling a nice stretch of the neck. So hold that up for a minute, and then we'll move on to the next position. Next position, we're going to go here and then do a fax out. So in this one, we're going to try to extend our fingers and our hands as far to the left and right as possible. Imagine there is a person holding, tying your left hand and another person pulling on your right hand at the same time, stretching it out as wide as possible. Now hold that for a minute. You should feel stretch in your pec muscles in your shoulders, you should feel it across your whole arm. Hold that for a minute and then we'll go on to the next movement. So we come back and then we got this and then we can do a thumb cell and then view cell. So in this one we're going to stretch as far forward as possible. You can round your back so that your scapula is nice and round. So reach out with your left one as far as possible, then reach out with your right one as possible, far as possible, then do again for the, with the left while keeping the right one still, and then reach out with the right one again while keeping the left one still, and then try to reach as far as you can. You should feel a lot of stretch behind your um, shoulders, and you should feel it stretching your scapula and you should feel it stretching your spine as well. Now, at the same time, you want to pull back on your head so that it creates a nice stretch on your back of your neck too. 
Now hold that for a minute and then go on to the next one. So the next one, we're going to come down. So on this one, we're going to do the same thing as before, but emphasize on the bottom part of your, the underside of your arms. And the next one, we're going to uh, flick our hands backwards. So your hands should be like this. Your fingers should go backwards. Try to reach your fingers to touch your elbow. Okay? Your fingers are trying to reach and touch your elbows. At the same time, you want to curl it as much as possible. So curl it as much as possible and lift it up like this. So you should feel a lot of pulling on the top part of your hand, of your fingers, and the top of your, of your, um, top of your arms. At the same time, you want to push out. So you want to push out this way and curl in with your fingers. And then pull your head back. Now hold that for a minute. So there's some nice stretching and strength developing exercises you can do.